Hey scholars. So I have another opportunity to finish talking about how we can integrate information different ways, through different various uh, means of resources and information. So allow me to share my screen with you and then we can get right back to it. Cool. So we will begin with our affirmation as we normally do. Cool. So I am an awesome, brilliant child, determined eternally for greatness, helpful, intelligent, joyful, kind, loving, mindful, and naturally outstanding, phenomenal, questioning, respectable, smart, talented, unique, and virtuous, wise, exciting, youthful, and zealous, and then some. All right. I ask that you choose your norm for the day, guys. So here we have it. Well dressed, well organized, well balanced, well read, well spoken, or well traveled. Take a second to think. Uh, you have, let's say, seven seconds. All right, guys, let's turn in and see what's next. All right, so we already know that we're going to integrate information from various resources. We're going to integrate information presented in different media or formats. Just a quick reminder, when we integrate, we want to ask ourselves, how does the author use photographs and captions to help clarify the ideas presented? We also want to make sure that we pay attention to the text features. These text features can be as boldface type, headings, or subheadings. And when we integrate, we want to know that the information means that rather that the information we're collecting are pieces to help combine in order for us to develop a coherent and very simple clear understanding of a topic. As we read, we're paying a close attention to the different ways animals snoops and the reasons why. We're gonna pick up where we left off. Deep secrets overheard. Tick, tick, creak. In the eerie deep water gloom, off the coast of Norway, an enormous sperm whale, rather sperm whale, makes mysterious noises before it abruptly rakes its toothy mouth through a school of swimming squid. Scientists believe the whale is using echolocation in the same way bats use echoes of their ultrasonic chirps to see in the dark. The whale's ticks and creeks helps it zero in on prey, but the sounds may also help distant sperm whales to find a good meal. The whale's echolocation sounds travel far, farther than the length of Manhattan Island. Sly sperm whales may eavesdrop to learn where another whale is hunting successfully and drop by for lunch. Live and let, rather live and let die. Spying and prying to stay alive. The tiny antelope jerked his head up to listen. He was a Gunther Deek Deek, a miniature antelope no larger than a Labrador dog. The tall grasses of the East African savanna surrounded him like a curtain. He was well hidden from leopards and hyenas, but predators were also concealed from him. Through the chattering of birds and insects, the deep deep recognized a familiar sound. Quack, quack, quack. The instant cry from an electric effect on the deep deep. He leaped and bolted through the grass. The fleeing animal glimpsed the sound of the sound. On a nearby tree sat a white-bellied, go-away bird, 
centennial of the Savannah. Beyond it, barely visible above the grass were the large black ears of a hunting wild dog. Go away birds are known for their noisy alarm call. The guah is thought by some to sound like a person shouting, go away. These social birds feed together and chatter in groups. A loud, urgent wah cry is a signal to other go away birds that an eagle, wild dog, or other predator has been spotted nearby. Many of these dangerous hunters also eat deep deeks. The wary antelopes use every trick in the book to avoid becoming a meal, including eavesdropping on go away bird communication. Unable to see far on the grassy savanna, deep deeks rely on the birds which spot approaching predators from treetop lookouts. For many animals, spying is a life and death business. Creatures that catch warning signals meant for others may stay one step ahead of enemies. Iguanas on the Galapagos Islands, for instance, keep their ears open even though they never utter a sound themselves. Galapagos marine iguanas feed on algae in the sea. When they're basking on rocks along the shore, young iguanas are a time, rather a prime target for hungry Galap Galapagos hawks. Another favorite hawk meal in the Galapagos mockingbird, but these birds have something to say about it. A distinctive chirp warns other mockingbirds a hawk is approaching. Marine iguanas eavesdrop on mockingbird conversations. They can tell the alarm from other songs and calls and will dash for cover when they hear it. Um, some animal snoops are born recognizing the warning signals of different creatures. Others, such as bonnet macaques, have to learn. These monkeys of southern India often pal around with langur monkeys. Langurs are good lookouts, and macaques will quickly scramble up a tree when, the over, when they overhear a langur warning cry. As long as the macaques have learned the correct langur language. Scientists say bonnet macaques at one animal reserve respond to recorded Nilgiri langur alarm shrieks, but are slower to flee after a similar cry by Hanneman langurs, which would barely be seen there. Farther north, only Hanneman langurs are common in bonnet macaques there have learned the opposite langur language. They jump at the sound of Hanuman warnings, but are less bothered by Nilguri cries. Eavesdropping on the alarm signals of other animals is useful, but spying on predators directly also has advantages. Geometrid moths, for instance, are slow night flying moths that can easily that can be easily overtaken by hunting bats. To make up for their sluggish speed, the moths have espionage skills. They can track bat radar. Many moths are stone deaf, but geometrid moths have ears that tune into the ultrasonic frequency bats use when navigating by echolocation. Not only can they hear a bat approaching, Geometric moths can also tell how close it is. If a bat is nearer than two bus lengths away, a moth will begin evasive zigzag flying. Closer than one bus length and the moth folds its wings and plummets to the ground where the bat won't follow. Before we move on, let's notice this word plummet. If you plummet, you fall straight down, suddenly and steeply. Next subheading, pop and stop. The seagrass is alive with the sound of music. Singing fish, male golf toadfish are performing their bizarre courtship serenade in the azure waters off the coast of Florida. Grunt, grunt, shirt. It's a song only a female toadfish could like. 
unless an appreciative bottle nose dolphin is also in the audience. Dolphins love to eat toadfish and they eavesdrop on the singing fish to find their dinner. But the dolphins aren't the only spies in the sea. The toadfish spy on the dolphins too. Dolphins make a low frequency pop sound when they use sonar to reveal toadfish hidden under dense seagrass. The fish listen for a popping from hunting dolphins and stop singing when the sound gets near. Guys, you can take a second to look at these questions again. Let's play, or rather pay close attention to these parts. The stakes in number three, interpret. In line 45, the author says, the stakes in wild spy games are high. What does this statement mean? We have to think about context clues and way, ways people use phrases. The next mention, summarize. After reviewing lines 128 through 193, what is the central idea of this section? Explain how the author elaborates on this idea. Guys, we'll go through them in detail when I see you on Google Meet. Please meet me. Google Meet from 11 to 1. I'll be there. Also, we'll review this piece right here on how you can integrate information. I want to show you how um, we're going to use a graphic organizer, and that graphic organizer is going to be extremely helpful. I can actually pull it up for you. Look something it looks it is this so um, we're going to look at things that we already know facts I already know about the topic and then we're going to see what can we get from digital videos and information and so on and so forth so just stay tuned and uh, yeah I look forward to meeting with you guys so yeah all right guys see you soon and happy trails. <laughs>